So, hello everyone. Um, this is going to be a recap of my early blog entries, so my vlog will actually make sense in the end. We'll hope it works out. So, this is to be about a few weeks before the vacation started, or the trip to Japan. And we're trying to find flights to get to Hakodate. Um, the only problem is we couldn't find anything for cheap. Like, everything was really expensive. We're looking online, it's like... About $2,500, $2,400 round trip, which is a bit too much for us because we're poor. So we're looking online for alternate solutions. One thing we found was a website called Cheapo Air. So we tried using that, and then looking on the website, we found a flight for about $1,700, which is actually a pretty good round trip. So we're like, hey, that sounds pretty good. Let's buy it. And then I was telling John about it because he used to buy tickets too, and he's like, Cheap aware. I hadn't really heard about that. So we looked it up online. Um, we typed Cheap Air into Google. And you know how Google comes up with like automatic suggestions of what you want to find? Well, one of those suggestions was Cheap Air Scam. Apparently, it's one of the biggest search options for Cheap Air. Which doesn't really invoke confidence in you because you're trying to find a reliable source to get over here. So it's kind of creepy. So. We decided to take what we found from Chipoya and we printed it and brought it to a travel agent who was actually able to get us the same deal and actually slightly cheaper than Chipoya, which is kind of weird. Um, so basically the flight was supposed to be from Calgary to LA, from LA to Ichion, Seoul, and Seoul, Korea, from Korea to Sapporo, and then from Sapporo to Hakodate. Um, so it's a really long trip, but it's cheaper, so it's, it's hopefully the better one. And the only problem with that is that we couldn't actually book the return date that we needed. We need to return somewhere around late end of August or so in next year. But the only the latest day they would let us um, book it was about June, I think. So we have to end up paying a extra fee to change the return date. So, but it still ends up being cheaper than the other ones, which is kind of good. And yeah, that's about it. At this time, we had no idea where we were going in Japan. We had no idea where we were staying or anything about our school. So we were kind of lost and kind of scared. But in the end, it seems to turn out alright, just fine. Anyways, I'll post the next post soon. Thanks. Bye.